Hey guys, welcome to Fireteam Base. This is Reaper. I'm here with Bees, and we're back for another NFL Week 14 Pick'em. Bees, man, how you doing tonight? Pretty good, man. Sitting, uh, sitting back a little bit. Four games behind the guests. Five games now behind you. And uh, you know, I would at this point think about getting discouraged, but it's the NFL, and uh, you know, any given Sunday and any given week. So I'm not really gonna think about it too much. Just Pick these winners this week and move on to the next. Any given Sunday is right. I'm just glad I'm in the first spot. Or I'm in the first place for the first time, I think, all season now. So uh, just going back to last week, if you've been keeping up with us, Bees finished nine and seven to bring his season total up to 65 and 36. Reap finished 11 and five to bring his season total to 70 and 31. And our guest finished. 10 and 6 to bring their total to 69 and 32. And speaking of guests, this week's special guest is Depis. Depis, how's it going, man? Thanks for being on the show. It doesn't matter what your name is. <laughs> I appreciate you guys inviting me in. You know, get a real expert to pick these games for you. Oh, yeah. We're looking forward to it, man. Let's see if you can uh, continue the hot streak the guests have been on and take the lead this week. Yeah, you got some tough competition. But with that, I think we're going to move into our Thursday night game. Bees, if you're ready, we have Saints at Falcons. Your call. All right. Well, it's a great Thursday night game we have going on this week, Saints at Falcons. But I'm going to end up taking the Saints. I know it's in Atlanta, but I think the Falcons season is all but over. Um, you know, we still have a few weeks left, but it just looks like they've given up. Last week was a pretty bad showing. And yeah, I'm going to take the Saints 24 to 17. I'm going to agree. I think the Falcons just aren't quite as complete of a team. And with their offense still messed up under offensive coordinator Steve Sarkeesian, who I'm going to complain about every week. Jesus, shut with the their hell up. up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just joking. With their offense still messed up with him as their OC, I think the Saints win this one comfortably 31 14. I'm going to go ahead and pick the Saints as well. I think their running duo is going to smash all over that Falcons defense. I'm going to go a lot higher scoring, though. I'm going to go about 38 to 21. All right, moving on to our Sunday games. At 1 o'clock, we have the Colts at Bills. B -b 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 Bills, baby. We played a pretty good game last week against the Patriots, and it is in Buffalo. You know, they got the Bills Mafia cheering them on out there doing some crazy stuff. But uh, regardless, I'm going to take the Bills at home 27-13 against the Colts. You know, last week's game against Tom Brady was so bad, I didn't even realize Tyrod Taylor got hurt. I had paid almost no attention to it. I think that the Colts are going to win this one with no quarterback. I actually switched this one up because a dear friend of mine suggested I do. I'm going to take the Colts winning this one 17-14 to in Buffalo. Yeah, you're welcome for that, for reminding you about that. I also take the Colts winning 21-14. to I don't know what you mean. It was another friend. All right. Our next game we have is the Vikings at Panthers. I'm going to roll with the Vikings here, man. Like I said, I'm going to keep picking them until they finally lose because the way they've been rolling and steamrolling people, it's been pretty impressive. And like I said, I can't say enough about Case Keenum. So I'm going to take the Vikings here 28-14 to against the Panthers. I'm also taking Vikings. Despite that weird showing against a weak Atlanta offense, I think that they're going to get the job done and they're going to be able to beat a team that I don't think is quite as good as the record shows. I think the Vikings win this one 31-24. I'm also going to go to the Vikings. Case Keenum is a legit starting quarterback in that offense, but I do think it's going to be a lower scoring game, probably 15-10. to 10. All right, moving on to a battle in the basement. We have Bears at Bengals. Oh, this one's going to be a rough one, man. It's going to be a very, very ugly game. The Bears just lost their newly signed kicker, Santos, to an injury. He's out for the season. And I think that's going to be the difference in this one again. Um, I got the Bengals winning here 17-14. to 14. Look, after you lose to a one-win team in the 49ers, I don't think anyone can take the Bears this week. I think the Bengals, who played the Steelers tough, are going to be too much for that team that's pretty depleted at this point in the season. I think Bengals win 
34 to 10. I'm also going to take the Bengals. I think uh, Andy Dalton with his zero picks in the last four games, I believe he's going to keep that rolling. Um, I'm going to do 21 to 10. Moving forward to another game we have, we have Packers at Browns. Oh, man. Yeah, another battle of the uh, winless against the battle of a team who actually is still kind of buying for the playoffs, even though they won't make it. I got the Packers winning this one, 31-14. to 14. I'm going to agree. I don't think there's too much to be said about this one. Uh, it'll be interesting. I think the Browns have a chance simply because they defend against the run well, and that's about all I see the Packers doing. But I just think the Packers have more weapons all around the ball, and I think they're going to wind up squeaking this one out 20-18. to 18. I'm also going to take the Packers. A little bit higher scoring game, though, for me. Uh, I'm going to do 32-21. to 21. And next, we have another interesting matchup, if that's the word we want to use. We have 49ers at Texans. If Jimmy Garoppolo had someone to throw to, I would definitely take the 49ers here. But since he doesn't, I'm going to definitely go with the Texans. I think Savage uh, Savage's weapons on offense are a lot better, even though I feel like he isn't a, as good of a quarterback as Garoppolo. But they're at home also. I'll take the Texans here, 24-17. to 17. You know, I'm also going Texans. I know the 49ers pulled one out of the hat against the Bears, but I don't think you get to win on five field goals every week. And Tom Savage had his possibly career best game against the uh, Titans defense that's actually surprisingly stout. So I think they're going to win this one comfortably. I think they're going to win 38-10. to 10. I'm actually going to surprise you and take the 49ers. I think Jimmy G is going to pull himself together being his second game, and but they're going to squeak by with 24-21. to 21. Back to an actually interesting football game. We have Seahawks at Jaguars. Whoa. Um, you know, this week is going to be huge. We've got a couple of great matchups, but I think the Seahawks are going to demolish the Jaguars this week. This this is going to get out of hand, and it's going to get out of hand quick. The Seahawks have been uh, showing how good they are against good defenses, and I'm going to take them 38-17. to 17. The Jaguars' offense will stand no chance against that front four of the Seahawks. As a Titans fan, I'm going to be watching this game intently. I think it's going to be a good one, and I think that the Seahawks are going to eventually be able to beat my AFC South division rivals 24-21. to 21. I think it's going to be a knockdown, drag-out fight between two really good defenses, and I think Russell Wilson's going to be the difference over Blake Bortles. Like I said, 24-21. I agree. Russell Wilson is on fire. He's going to play a great game, 28-14. And moving on to a matchup that we know has a lot of significance to our guests this week, we have Raiders at Chiefs. Well, I'm going to take the Chiefs here against the Raiders. Um, You know, they can't lose every week. Well, I guess they have basically kind of been losing every week. They're going to choke this division, I feel like, to the Chargers. But I think they will win this game 18-14. to Yeah, you know, I also have Raiders. I think they're going to be able to be able to squeak it out against the Chiefs. I'm not sure how, though. I think this could be a battle of two teams that can't seem to find anything going right now. I think Raiders win this one 19-17. to Well, he picked the Chiefs, and you picked the Raiders, so you did not agree with him. <laughs> but my my Chiefs will win this game. They're going to finish strong. I think their offense is going to stay on point, probably score over 30 points again, and as the Raiders flop on their face. I'm going to go 35-14. to 14. Moving on to our next matchup, we have a battle of some injured quarterbacks, Lions at Buccaneers. I trust Stafford more than Winston at this point, um, even though he is kind of hobbled. So I will take the Lions here, 24 to 20. I'm actually going to go the opposite direction. I think Stafford's hand is hurt worse than they want to let on. He said he was feeling some, quote, nerve pain, unquote. I'm not sure what that even means. Pretty sure all pain is nerve pain, but that's okay. I think the Buccaneers are going to win with a newly healthy Jameis Winston, and I th- I'm going to take him 20 to 17. I think with Winston coming back as well, healthy will be the Bucks over the Lions. We'll go twenty-one to ten. 
Moving on to our four o'clock games out west. We have and the Titskis versus the Cards. I really don't know exactly uh, what's going down in Arizona. I mean, I know they lost their quarterback, but that offense just cannot score points. That Titans defense is going to come through clutch. I know that their offense has had trouble as of late also, but I really think that I can't say it enough that Mariota to Delaney Walker combo just needs to keep chugging and rolling. So I'm going to take the Titans here, 27-17. Yeah, I think I'm going to take the Titans in this one. I think the Titans uh, have squeaked out some close wins, and I think they're going to do the same thing against the Cardinals this week. Watch for another nail-biter out there in Arizona, 24-23. to I actually think the Titans are going to show they're a true playoff team, and they're going to go 28-10. And moving forward, we have Jets at Broncos. J-E-T-S, Jets, 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 all the way, baby. They're going to go into the Mile High Stadium and throw all over the freaking Broncos. McClown is going to let it air out 38-17. to 17. You know, every week it seems I pick the Broncos for their supposedly good defense, and every week I seem to be disappointed. This week I'm going to go the opposite direction. I'm going to say the Jets are going to be able to take care of business, and they're going to win this one 24 to 16 Jets games, Jets run game is the difference in this game. They are going to win. 28-21. Moving forward, we have a matchup between two potential playoff teams, Redskins at Chargers. Man, if this was early in the season, I'd tell you it'd be tough to call, but the Chargers smell blood in the water in that division, and I got to take them here against the Redskins. Um, Phillip Rivers is going to come through clutch again, 29-17. to 17. <laughs> Yeah, I'm also going to go Chargers. I think they're the better team than the Redskins at this point in the season. I think the Redskins are really banged up, and I don't think they're going to have enough to win on the road in L.A. I think the Chargers win this one 28-20. As a Chiefs fan, I'm hoping the Redskins show up and are ready to play, and they're going to win the game 14-10. to Next, we have a great matchup this week in what might be the NFC Championship game, Eagles at Rams. Man, I'm, after that showing in Seattle, it'd be tough to take the Eagles, but I got to take them here, man. I think P Doug Peterson and um, Carson Wentz are going to air out their differences there, and you kind of saw them battling about what should have been done and what shouldn't have, have, have been done. But he's got to trust his quarterback a little more to start making some, some of these throws against some tough teams, and I think he will this week, and that's going to be the difference. Carson Wentz, 24-23. You know, I'm also going to say Eagles. I think that they are probably the better team overall than the Ra than the Rams. Excuse me. And I think the Eagles are going to get this one done on the road in what might be the NFC Championship game a few weeks down the road, 38 to 31. I also got the Eagles winning 28 to 24. All right. And next we have an NFC East matchup, Cowboys at Giants. Even without Zeke, I think the Cowboys can beat the Giants. It is going to be a close game, but I still have them winning, you know, kind of convincingly towards the end, 24 to 14. Watch for the Cowboys to keep their road show on the ground this week. I think they're going to knock the Giants out with another big week from Alfred Morris. I think they win this one relatively comfortably, 31 to 20. I got Eli coming back with fire in his belly, and he's actually going to rip the Dallas defense a new one, 28-17. All right, moving forward to Sunday night, we have a matchup in division, Ravens at Steelers. The Steelers are going to steal the show at Heinz Field, man. The Ravens have been playing really good as of late. They've been putting points on the board, but I think the Steelers are going to outlast them here with uh, Big Ben in that offense that's really hard to stop. I'm going to take them 19-17. to 17. You know, I went back and forth on this one just after the game against the Bengals and the way the Ravens have been playing lately, but I think I am going to take the Steelers again. I think they have too much firepower for anyone not named the Patriots to contend with in the AFC, and that's why I think they're going to win this one in close fashion, 28-27. to 27. I also have the Steelers winning this game in a close one, 17 to 14. 
Moving back to Monday night in the AFC East, we have the Patriots at Dolphins. The Patriots, the Patriarchs, they're going to sweep the Dolphins under the rug here and call it a day. The Dolphins just do not have the firepower to match up to Tom Brady. So I'm going to take the Patriots here 29-14. to 14. Yeah, you know, I didn't pick the Dolphins last week, and it kind of burned me, but uh, I'm going to double down on that this week. I think the Patriots are going to sweep them on their way to the first seed in the AFC. I think the Patriots win this one 38-10. I also have the Pats, but they're going to go ahead and run up the score 24-10. to 10. All right, guys, that does it for our Week 14 NFL Pick'ems. Reeps, Defus, how do you guys feel about your picks, man? Reeps, you first. I feel pretty good, man. I think there's going to be some good matchups down at the bottom and one or two good matchups up at the top. I think uh, it's going to be an interesting week of football for the first time in a while. I think I didn't drink enough beer to really get a good pick on all these games. <laughs> so why don't we come back in a few hours and do it again? <laughs> oh, I would love to, but uh, too late, man. Can't change them because I don't know if we have went over this yet, but – the uh, best four guests throughout the season will have a chance to compete for a prize at the end of the season where each guest will get eliminated every round of the playoffs until there is one man left standing with bees and reaps. Reaps, you excited about that or what? Definitely, man. I think we're getting down to that point of the season where football's every game is really starting to matter. And, uh, you know, I'm excited for the playoffs and uh, can't wait. Defus, once again, man, thanks again for coming on through the show, and we hope to see you in the playoffs, buddy. Hopefully you pick good this week. I appreciate appreciate the invite, guys. Thanks. All right, guys, make sure you hit that like and subscribe channel to stay up to date with all of our tech unboxing, game reviews, NFL pickums, and more. And let us know down in the comments which one of us you think won this week and who you've got for your NFL picks. For Fireteam Base, bees out. Thank you guys.